Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great weekend. You are responsible for your own happiness. Happiness never comes from outside of you. If you put your happiness in someone else's hands, they can always take it away. Happiness can only come from inside of you and is a result of your love. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have option expiration day. We're going to have volume, folks. Bottom line, Dow Industrials down 348. NASDAQ's off 282. S&P's down 64. Gold. Gold contract down $11, trading at $17.60 an ounce. We have silver down $0.48, cents, $19.08 .08 an ounce. Light sweet crude, $90.48 a barrel, notes and bonds. Ten-year note. Down 23 ticks, trading 118.04. The 30 year off two points at 138.16 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up 662 ticks, trading at 108.147. The Euro's one to one, par to the US dollar. The Yen is out here at 136. And the British pound is at 118 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps. Let's take a look at it. What are you doing? Well, right now, it's going to be pretty cool looking at this, folks, because what we're doing, we're testing the spike low that was out here. Oh, look at the S&P already just broke it. Yep. Yeah. Well, actually, let me go to the, uh, so the S&P broke it. Let me go to the NQs, because the NQs, I believe, are coming right into it right now. So we get over to the NQs. The low is uh, 230. That's what it's trying to test right now. Now, it's interesting. We're at nine. Yeah, we're at nine minutes. Okay, so what we have here, let's take a look at this. So you got the spike low. The first one was 11,000 contracts. This one, uh, yeah, yeah, you're at 10,000 contracts, man. Yep, and you get a minute left. So we'll see how this shakes out. It hasn't hit it yet. The bottom line is that we're, we're right above it. We're, oh no, actually I hit it at 29. So this is, this is a big test here, man. Because if it blows it away, the bottom line, you're gonna go a lot lower coming into this close. But this would be the test and we'll see uh, how much, we only got seconds left. So we'll see how this shakes out. That being said, if we go over the E-minis for a second, what you're gonna see, uh, this baby did get below it. Let's see. Come on, come on, here we go. Okay, so that's a little, that's a different setup, man, interesting. So that, well now we had that spike down, that, that the mini yeah, croaked this thing, man. Totally croaked this thing. Um, let's go, let's go take a look at this market. So, what we're looking at is this, and this is where I expect we're gonna go. You got, this gap is wide open. Okay, so the gap on the, on the SPY, 412.75, you're at 421. You're gonna have volume today. You know, yesterday we, we went up with 46, 49 million today, you're already down with 46. Excuse me, folks. <coughs> when we come into the close, you're gonna see the volume explode because the bottom line is that that's where the turns come, that's where everything else comes in. So we're at 37 million on the queues. We did 41 yesterday. The gap that's wide open is 319. Right now you're at 322. Now the cool thing here, folks, is this is that when you're looking at this market, right, the, you, you want to coordinate the aspect of, number one, where the dollar is, and number two, where this gap is, and then number three, what the volume is coming into that gap. Because my take goes like this. If we pull into the gap, like today we're going to have volume, but we very well on Monday could go hit that gap and have lighter volume, or it could be a turnaround Tuesday. You go into the gap, you reject the gap, you have lighter volume, guess what? Now they say you go right back topside. That's the first scenario. Second scenario is you come down with volume today, we go lower with expansion of volume, and if that's what we get, what you're going to see is that we'll end up doing a 50% retracement of the whole move higher. And if we take a look at this, and I'm talking about from the June lows, okay, you take a look at the 50% retracement, and the SPY, that would bring you down to 394. And right now you have 421. Now I can see that scenario coming across. The reason I can see that scenario coming across, because 
We know that the market's job is to take the most amount of money away from the most amount of people in the least amount of time, and there's no doubt that's the most efficient mechanism I've seen in my life to do that. And that would probably do it because of the fact that everyone would be on edge like, oh, no, man, we're going after the lows. We're going to break the lows. You get the gist of it, okay? Uh, it would be a much tougher market in general. Uh, as to where everything is going. So uh, it's going to be really intriguing watching this whole thing shake out. We get into the uh, gold. Let's go take a look at gold. Gold continues not to have a bit. That's the real bottom line. I mean, the bottom, you know, we, we, we're down on light volume. You're, you're trading, uh, it's 760. Uh, that being said, the bottom line is that this thing uh, can run down to 7. This, yeah, this is 727, man. 727 is where we came off the low. The high of the low is 737. 727? 1727, yeah, 1727. And then if we go, go over and we take a look at King Dollar, what you're going to see with King Dollar out here is that King Dollar is up at this uh, 108,157. And I think it was, wants to go to the highs. Let's go to Gary in Tampa. Hey, Gary, what's going on? How are you, Tom? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Great. Um, a quick question uh, about the government bonds that I had heard you talk about yes. a while back. Um, so I'm looking at them. They're based on uh, inflation. Partial, That's correct. And then they have a fixed rate, correct? That's correct. Every three months. So every three months they adjust it based on inflation from that quarter or the quarter? The prior the quarter. Before? The prior quarter. Yes. Okay. All right. I tried to go online and get some and answers. And it's, get listen, the it's a great deal, so. man. That's the bottom <laughs> line. It's, and it, it, what ends up happening is this. So picture this, folks. What happens is that uh, let's picture that a year from now, you know, you want to sell them, right? So the way it works is that you just wouldn't get paid for the prior quarter. That's how it works. So you can sell these things, which is amazing. Do you know what I'm saying? So they're longer term tips. I mean, they're longer term bonds, that's for sure. But you don't have to sell them to Iwana. And all you're going to miss out on is the interest for one quarter. Do you know what I mean? So it's pretty cool, man. All right. Well, thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Okay, man. Have a and, great uh, one. Have a safe one. I'm listening to you over here in Tampa. That's a beautiful thing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us, Gary. See you later. Thanks, man. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.